Hi, I'm Paris, and just like I imagine a lot of you are, I'm torn between wanting a slim, minimalist wallet to just fit the absolute essentials in, something nice and thin that will comfortably fit in my front pocket, and then on the other side there's reality, which means a stack of cards and business cards and some receipts and varying amounts of paper money and getting that all to fit. So I've been back and forth with both kinds of wallets. Now four years ago is the last time I got a new wallet and I tried out in a video review the As Seen on TV Lock Wallet. It's basically a regular fold out wallet but it has a zipper that closes around it. But it was actually so practical because I stopped worrying about the slots for the cards in here and just jammed them all in but I could zip them up, it was safe until zipper broke. So time for a new wallet but if to just transfer it over it's a pretty big stack of cards and I've got some more jammed in the front here and I've got a fair amount of cash in here and let's see the insurance for the car and some pictures of the kids. Anyway, this has turned into more of a purse than a wallet so I decided, all right, need a new wallet. I'm going to go with the minimalist one and I'm going to make it work so I searched lots of reviews online. I wanted the thinnest wallet that could still hold 10 cards plus some cash and that had a clear plastic cover to put the driver's license in. I also wanted RFID protection so that the, when the wallet's closed up, nobody can get to those little chips in the cards now and extract the information. And I wanted something that looks a little bit sharp after going around with grandma's wallet for the last four years. I was ready for something new. So in this box is my new wallet. It is the Runbox Slim Minimalist Wallet, everything I'd like my life to be. Now the pictures looked really good on Amazon. It got great reviews, so let's see if it's going to look that nice in person. It is packaged nicely. A little bit thicker than I was expecting, but if it holds all my cards, I'll be okay with that. Yeah, okay, so I chose one black on the outside, orange on the inside, and it's got that clear screen to put the driver's license in. It has room for cards here, here, and on the outside, I really like this idea. They've put room for one card, your most used card, probably the debit card with a little thumb piece there so you can easily slide it out and use it. Also has money clip. Let's see how many bills. Oh, it looks pretty flexible. Here's a closer look at it. You can see here in the corner where you might put your driver's license. It does say RFID protection. On the one side and the other. It's, it seems like they could have <laughs> put an opening here so you could put a few things in there, but all right, I'm going to make this work as it is. So how much of my life am I going to have to give up going from this wallet to this one? It looks like quite a lot. You know, I bet the zipper on this would have lasted longer if I hadn't filled it to overflowing. All right, for the first time in years, I'm going to empty everything out of this old wallet. Oh my gosh, I got so much stuff in here. These are the world's tiniest reading glasses. You just put them on your nose if you're ever in a pinch. Small stack of my own business cards for my other business, Epic Review Guys, for when I would go to conferences and VidCon and so forth. Don't need to carry these with me anymore. I've actually got 13 bills here. I started carrying more cash once the pandemic started because you know when there's disasters you're supposed to have extra cash. But then it ended up nobody wants your cash because they don't have any coins to give you change and it's a lot cleaner without exchanging things. Just do it with your card. So I think I can probably reasonably cut this in half from 13 to let's say six or seven bills. Cards are gonna be a lot harder. I've got a business card for this business, for my other business, a home debit card, a couple credit cards just for emergencies, and then there's the HSA card, the insurance card, the dental insurance card, and then I've got a number of paper cards. Yeah, I could dispense with some of these, especially by taking pictures of them with the phone and just keeping them there should I ever need to access the number. And proof of insurance for our cars, and lastly, a photo of my daughters from Geez, I'm thinking this is like 12 years ago. And this I'm going to keep in the wallet. So here's where the driver's license will go. And I found sliding that in from the side here that there's another slot in back where you can put things. But it is hard to get to because of the money clip. However, you can remove the money clip. And then I guess put some infrequently used items back in here. And then put the money clip back in. 
And there's another spot I found behind the driver's license slot, accessible from the top. You can slide a couple cards in there. And over on this side, some more stuff can fit in here. Haven't put the cash in yet, and it kind of looks full already. Here I've got my daily use card set up. Inside, I'll have the driver's license here. I've got some infrequently used papers there. I've got that photo of the kids. I've got that back in here. I've got my cards sorted out. The first section is all the health and insurance related stuff, including the HSA card, dental insurance, vision, and so forth. And then the back section is for the credit cards. Now it's time to put in the cash. Let me put the money clip back in. Not too hard to take out. Put it back in, but the more stuff you have jammed in the wallet, the more challenging it is. All right, I've got my six bills in on the money clip. Now I just folded them once, which looks okay here, but when you open up the wallet, I don't really like the money doing that. Uh, I don't know, it looks like here, look at all the money I have. So I'm gonna fold it again and see how it looks. Folded twice does make the wallet a little harder to keep closed, but opening it up to get the money, I think this looks much better and it's really easy to, when you need to pay someone, take the money off the clip, get to the bill that you need, pay it, and then take your remaining bills, slide them right back on. Now that I've managed to fit everything in there, how easy is it to get stuff out? Now this is supposed to be my daily card, the thing I might use most recently, and it's in there, it's in there pretty good, because everything else is kind of squishing up against it. I already tried once to take it out, and it's, thank goodness they give you this, because you need that. You can't really get the fingers in there. Now this may loosen with time. Maybe if I work with this in the thumbnail, I can get it out. Okay, yeah, actually there, that does work. Okay, I'll have to remember that trick. And the other regularly accessed, but not daily accessed cards. This first one is real easy to pull out because I can get a good amount of thumb on it. What about this card in the back? Oh yeah, okay, that actually works. And the last test is how easily does this slide in and out of my pocket? All right, here we go. Yeah, it's not quite as rounded and fit to my leg like my old wallet after four years, but I think that will come with time. Not uncomfortable, but I do notice it. And to take it out, yeah, easy enough. Okay. And many years ago, I was a back pocket person, not anymore, but fits in there just fine. It's down about that amount. I don't know about sitting on it, though. With your hips and the unevenness it can cause, I really recommend keeping the wallet in the front pocket. And with it in the front pocket, how is it for sitting down? Yeah, the other, my old wallet really did conform to my leg. This is short enough, I don't think it's going to be a problem. So I had to make a few compromises, though not as many as I was expecting, going from the as seen on TV lock wallet, the reality wallet, to the Runbox Slim minimalist wallet. So my days of, how much is that, Sonny? unzipping the wallet, paying. Now, I have something that looks nice, and it's uh, I can take this out without being embarrassed. So come, join me in the slim, minimalist world. You really don't have to give up that much. I got this on sale for about $30. You can find out more about it at the link down below this video, and I'll see you looking sharp on the next review. There are so many choices and you don't want to stress. You want your health, food, and home receiving only the best. That's what we're here for. We give honest reviews. Paris DX.